This archived clip from Make Live is brought to you by DigiKey. Join us live every second and fourth Wednesday of the month. Uh, I wanted to talk about one of the sections in the special issue, the siege and ballistic section. This is a popular topic, I yeah. think, for, for making shooting things, yeah, projectiles. I, mean, I, I think if you have if you have a backyard, you know, then then it's fun. You, you have neighbors, you know, you yeah. have something to do with the with the ballistic weapons. Yeah, and here in Brooklyn at MakerBot, where we do the show, there's not a lot of space right. for us to be shooting things off, right. uh, unfortunately. Because it's pretty big, right? One of a couple of them, and I don't see them here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we, uh, the interns at Make Labs, they built a bunch of ballistics kits and tried them out outside of O'Reilly. Take a look. Hi, I'm Brian. I'm an engineering intern for Make, and today we are testing the floating arm trebuchet kit from RLT.com. This is a very simple, small kit. It's consisted of a bunch of wood pieces that are CNC'd out with, that come on sheets when you get it, that you cut out, and you, you file down the edges and it's glued together. This is Dan, and he will be showing us how to operate the, the trebuchet. All right, to load this sucker, you first gotta lift the uh, counterweights all the way up, and. The unique way this uh, the ship mechanism works is that the weights fall straight up, straight down. And so you just gotta lift this up all the way to the top. And then this trigger mechanism stays flat like this. And we take our firing pin, stick it in the hole, and that's all there is to loading it. Then we need our projectile which is our Make Labs GoPro camera. I'm gonna see if we can uh, get some footage out of this. I love what they do with that GoPro camera. <laughs> yeah. We, we had Dan on a previous show and he had this uh, project, uh, this, uh, this cannon that he shot the, the GoPro cannon out, the GoPro camera out of. Uh -huh. It was incredible. You had this nice aerial view of the whole O'Reilly campus. It, it was really cool. It's amazing what you could do with those. Yeah. Well, thank you guys for, for sharing uh, that kit with us. We have a few desktop ballistics kits here. We want to start off with this one. This is the, the, De the desktop battering ram. There we go. Ooh. Ah. <laughs> so if you have any uh, desktop wars going on, uh, this is this is the kit for you. It takes a lot of wood glue, but it's all. I think you just kind of snap the parts out of the wood, and um, and there you go. So if you're if you've got like any town set up in your cubicle or yeah. your desk at home, and you're you want to destroy others, there you go. So this one was sent to us by the uh, the interns, and we have one more here. There we go. This is a ballista. Um, this one actually, we can really, I think, cause some damage with this one. Let's see. Let's see, we have to pull this back, right? Here we mm -hmm. go. We gotta set the trigger there. Okay, got ammunition. We were having a little trouble before. Okay, let's see. Woo! Whoa! <laughs> it, hit my, it hit my computer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's try it. We'll try one more here. All right. And so more fun desktop warfare. If you don't have a backyard like we don't, you can play with this stuff. It's just as fun. You put these together. There we go. Okay. All right. Am I going to attempt fate here by oh, this one? There we go. Mm -hmm. Oh, all right. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. 
<laughs> All right, so fun stuff for uh, desktop warfare. If you don't have a backyard like we don't and you want to try some uh, ballistics, siege and ballistics kits, have you ever heard of an atlatl, by the way? I, I do not know that word, but I recognized it when I saw the picture. Yeah, so an atlatl is like a, I guess an arrow or spear throwing instrument, and there's a kit to make your own. Mm -hmm. And one of the interns, Brian, had put one together and Dan tried it out. Take a look. Okay, so this is one of the atlatl kits from Thunderbird Atlatl. It's a very simple how-to kit that comes in several pieces that you put together with some glue and then you coat the entire atlatl with beeswax or some sort of stain to protect it. Um, this kit is very simple to use. You place uh, a very long arrow along here that you build. It's, you, you can buy it with this kit or you can buy it without. And you throw it, it goes really far. So this is one of the arrows that it comes as a kit. It comes with one long piece of wood a metal point tip and feathers which you uh, wrap string to hold around or in this case tape. Um, this can be used with any of the atlatls that Thunderbird Atlatl sells and you have the option to buy one, three, or ten. All right, that looks like it takes a lot of practice. Uh, thank you, Dan and Brian, for trying that out. I hopefully you you got some more time to 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 try. I don't think I could I could get that to hit that not, target. There. Not as far as providing sustenance for the family. No, I think I'm going to stick to going to restaurants uh -huh. and supermarkets, right? Uh, and not hunting with an atlatl. Right. But if push comes to shove, I would get the atlatl kit, put it together, and try my best at hunting to provide, to provide sustenance.